Purple Light is a new uh, talent development scheme that's been run by First Light. What we're trying to do is actually to encourage a greater representation of diversity across the board in the film industry. Who am I? What am I? Oh, that's pretty hard question. I guess I'm always changing, like on a daily basis. And part of finding your identity is through communication with others. What, like texting? Yeah, yeah. I'm really interested in making stories from things in Africa, you know, obviously telling a different perspective of Africa, you know, obviously there's a certain way in the media that Africa is represented. I want to show the other side of the community, like where I'm from, where I've grown up, because I know a lot of people like myself who kind of want to get into this kind of thing but don't have the avenues and don't know who to go to. We do have uh, talent, we've got unbelievable ideas. They need to be, you know, turned into a project, they need to be filmed, they need to be out there. Thinking outside the box. We're looking for people that have got had different life experiences and they've got different stories to tell. Is there a barrier that's making it difficult for this person to access the film industry? I've grown up for most of my life in East London, known to be precise. Some people call it the ends. <laughs> I had my son when I was 18. And um, after that, as soon as I had my son, I had just this big drive to do something with my life. It's basically it's hard to explain how I feel, but to me it's all good. So. For kids from way out of London or kids from difficult backgrounds and uh, ethnic minority backgrounds, I think they feel inhibited. They think it's not for them. They don't think they can get in at all. And the First Light initiative is just one of the initiatives to try and say, look, we are open. The industry is open to anybody. It isn't just about colour, it is also about the disability and um, gender. Start off with um, sculpture and installations. So I started off in First Light and I was about 10. We made this film called Changes and this other film called Opera. First Light is um, a scheme that aims to engage 5 to 19 year olds in creative filmmaking activity and we do that through managing a funding scheme using lottery funding from the UK Film Council. We made one film for Mental Health Week for the NHS, so um, we did it on bulimia. First Light gave me view, let me work in becoming an industry, cameraman, sound, directing, producing. We did some research on, on sort of what opportunities there would be for those young people to access um, new entrance schemes particularly um, into the industry and sort of discovered there was a gap and designed a programme, um, Second Light, that we hope addresses how to move the young people we discover through First Light, through the first opportunity, through to a more structured programme where they're better supported, mentored and have access to training. It's great to be here at Pinewood because it's a very inspirational place. We're delighted to be hosting students for the next two days. We took a decision last year that to, to support First Light as our nominated charity. We are going to take three placements from Second Light. We're going to put two in post-production and one in television. And so they'll give them a marvellous opportunity to see firsthand what the industry is really about. We did the new Ridley Scott epic, which is about Robin Hood. We had 14 tons of sand. Um, horses, um, supporting artists, arrows, boats. We went to the water tank, we went to the Harry Potter set, that was great. It, honestly, it, I'm going and telling everybody. We made My Family Here, Extras was made here, um, we could sing. That would be one channel. One of the key things of being a good sound designer is having a knowledge of what's around you. Now I'm focusing Maybe like I'm, I'm, I should actually like, uh, specialise more in sound production. If you're going to take a card from me, you'll keep it private. Uh, Ten. You can only really be your, truly yourself if you are confident enough to speak your mind. To create that opportunity for creative activity between them, I think is a very important part of it. A sense of camaraderie and fellowship and team spirit that they can actually work together. I was really. Um, influenced by the, the talk that Albie gave yesterday, you know, it's good to collaborate with people and, you know, as they say with, with film, you don't, you don't make films on your own, you make films as a, as a team. Second Light is going to give these people it's a great insight into how the industry actually works. I'm sure I've seen some future producers and directors and writers here today, but I also hope that I've met people who might think about editing, camera work, good cinematographers, 
good production designers, they're key to making films. It's been wicked. Absolutely amazing. I've learned so much. You look at what they've achieved already by their age of, you know, 19, 20, 21, is pretty remarkable. They're trying to share their stories, they're trying to leave their impression, and they're trying to change the world. And we have to let that happen. Hopefully when I come back here, I'll be a veteran.